felt the gale force winds. The Google Maps only got me so far. It just got me to North Sydney. And then I had to follow signs. Fortunately, they have lots of signs. And there's the ferry way ahead. I don't think you can see it from here. So we just got to go down and uh, figure it out. Okay, well I hope this is it. Now I've got my confirmation number in my wallet. This should be all I need unless there's something else they need me to pay for. And I'm hoping this is the right ferry. Well, I'm sure they'll straighten me out if it's not. But look at that, here we are, it's one o'clock. Doesn't leave till 5.30. I think this time, just to make it easier, I'm gonna get right off the bike. <laughs> or it's just too hard to get shit figured out. <laughs> Hello. Hi, now I can hear you. <laughs> off to Argenia, do you need the booking count number? Uh, no, the cabin's for the way there. Yeah, but were you on a wait list on the way back? Oh, do I want one for the way back? Um, yeah, I could if it's available. Yeah, you were on a wait list and you received it. Do you want it? Uh, well, I, I received it for the way there, but for the way back I didn't receive one. But I, I'll, I'll take it if, if it's available. Okay, it'll be 6150. <laughs> this is your tag, so it's going to go on your dash if you can. Okay. Morning, party, pizza. Okay, and then they'll guide me from there, I'm sure. All right, I'll just put it in here for now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, first time, so I probably sound like a total noob. What lane do I go? Hello. Hello. What time did she say we board? Oh no, Francais. Does he know a little? <laughs> oh boy, I went all through Quebec. Hi. Hi. I just wondering if did he did she say we board at three thirty? It's uh no. Oh, I thought she said three thirty. Uh, 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 where are you going? Boat. Yeah. <laughs> Argentia. You got two. Okay, one the two. Uh, oh. Am I? Basque and the other one to Argentia. Am I in the right lane? <laughs> uh, she told you uh, lane four? She didn't tell me what lane. Okay. She told us lane four and it's four. You got a Are, yellow? Yeah. Are you what's, what's written? Maybe I didn't see. Oh, it says on there? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Argentia, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So she told me lane four. Oh, okay. So I must be the right spot. <laughs> Filming this. <laughs> so I'm in where you park for the ferry, right here. And uh, it's 1.30, they're not even going to board till 3.30, so we've got a couple of hours, so I'm going to look into this fuse issue. Uh, I looked online and I found out which fuse it is. It's that 10 amp fuse, third one up on the left. 
it shares with the cornering lights. So if I could find a 10 amp fuse, I can fix it. So now I need to get some tools out just to try and uh, get that out because I can't seem to pull it out with just my fingernails. But if I pull it out, what's the point? I still need another 10 amp, but I'd like to look at it and see if it's blown. Well, I found it. I got it out and I checked it. And yeah, this one, I think it's blown because it's all black in the middle and I compared it to another one, which is just nice and solid brass. So it's definitely the fuse, it's blown. I guess I should have brought some fuses with me if I knew this was going to happen on my trip. But what I'm wondering is if I can't get one right now, I'm wondering what I if I could possibly switch it with the next 10 amp fuse up, which is G heater, which is your, uh, your I'm pretty sure that's the, the heater for the handlebars, which I certainly don't need right now. Question is, is that the only thing that that fuse runs? Am I, am I going to screw myself up or not? But, uh, I could maybe do that, switch it for the for the glove heater. I mean, what else would it be for? But I'm gonna wait and just see. There was there was one other biker said he does have some fuses, so we're gonna try him first. Aha. So I made it over there. I had to scan out and scan in. Show my ID again that I got out. Look at the tire, and I managed to pick up some more 10 amp fuses. So it looks like we might just win. All right, I'm gonna put this in, put this together. We should be good to go and I got spare fuses to boot. So we're just waiting to board here. It's quite a bit past when they said they said 3.30, it's 10 after 4. <coughs> just waiting to <coughs> board. Yeah, I must say it was interesting just sitting here. I had like over two hours to kill, but between fixing the bike and and talking to everybody, like everybody here was quite talkative. And uh, we were all just talking about each other's bikes and our experiences and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was pretty cool, actually. It's uh, the most talking I've done with other bikers uh, yet. So I think that's pretty cool. This guy in front from Quebec, he speaks English. So we talk quite a bit about each other's bikes. Guy behind me, we talk quite a bit. Guy uh, three bikes up. We, oh, we chatted for like an hour, I think, just with him. And everybody's doing a different thing. Some are, some are camping. Some are going on their own. Some are staying at places. And I might even find one at my place too. So we'll just see how it goes. Anyway, it looks like they're getting ready. But the place I'm going is the only one I could find online. So I'm wondering if some of these guys <laughs> I might run into them again. They might be staying there as well.
Okay, here is my room for the night. No, it's not big, but hey, I've never done this sort of thing, so this is the closest thing to a cruise I ever got to. So I have my own cabin. It's a two berth. I can take my pick. One, one bed for my stuff, one bed to sleep maybe. I've got a nice window to look out. I'm up on the eighth floor of the deck. So here we go. So I paid the extra so I can have this because if it's going to be overnight, I want to be able to sleep and I'm not sitting in some chair. So there we go. And I might go exploring in a little bit, but maybe we'll let people get settled in first because the hallways are going to be busy. So that's pretty cool. We're up pretty high, eh? Whew. It's pretty high. So over here, we have, I even have my own bathroom and shower. I couldn't believe it. Look at that. Toilet, shower, sink. I've had motel rooms that were worse than this. All right. So I'm gonna get settled in. I'm, get, I'm just, get, I got one boot off, one boot on. Already got to get the camera rolling. But anyway, I'm gonna get my comfy shoes on. I'm gonna settle in and, and uh, then I'm gonna explore the ship a little bit. So we're on level 910. And I'm just trying to find my way outside here. So let's go have a look outside. There we go. So I have to go, you have to go up to the 10th floor to get outside. Oh, here we are. Just like the Chi Chi Man. Wow, that's pretty cool. big of a deck as I thought. But it's pretty cool. Oh, I don't want to be near the edge. Oops, coming through. I thought we were already 